So if you're here, I'm sure the thumbnail made you want to come so you can know how to make this tasty homemade from scratch almond milk that is not toxic and really has almonds in it. If that's why you're here, keep watching and stay tuned so I can show you how I make my homemade almond milk. Let's get into it. Today we are going to be making homemade from scratch in your kitchen where you know the ingredients, you know everything that's in it. It's not a mystery, it's not nothing you can't pronounce. Almond milk. And we love it. With my oatmeal, when I make my uh, uh, cream of wheat, my grits, my um, uh, cereal. When I cook, when I bake, if it needs milk, I'm using my milk that I'm making. And it's so much more economical than buying almond milk that I found has so many toxic things in it. And you're really not getting any almonds inside that milk. Like out of a half a gallon, they say it's anywhere between one to three nuts inside of it. Almonds inside of it. So yeah. Now, let's get into it. I just wanted to introduce myself if you're new to the channel and you like things like this. I am a homemaker. I am a mom. I'm also renovating a fixer-upper that I have got after starting over in my 40s. And that's what this channel is about, me sharing my life. I've been on here for a while and I've been contemplating some things. I'm trying not to let go, but I'm also trying to share only things that are important because I live in truth and I live in integrity. And I never want to be on any platform where I have to sell myself or do things that are not helpful to my community or my people to make any money. So if this is God's will, that's what it shall be. But I will continue sharing things that will help people save time, energy, worry, and their coins. So let's get into this almond milk and I'm going to show you everything that I use and how quick and easy it is to make for you and your family. Not to mention, I make my own syrup. I make my own jam. I make... This is the syrup. I just made a batch of it the other day. My own maple cinnamon syrup. It's maple vanilla cinnamon syrup. And I make my own strawberry um, jam. So though, if those are things you're interested in, I will remember to put the link for the jam below. I don't think I made the syrup yet, but if you're interested, let me know below and I'll try to do a video on that as well. So let's get into this almond milk. Sorry for the long intro, but let's get into this almond milk. This ain't gonna be a long So the things you're gonna need, first and foremost, you're gonna need some almonds, some raw, natural, skin on almonds. And I get those from Walmart and I soak mine overnight. Some people say soak, some people say not to soak. I figure why not soak them to soften them a little bit and make it easier for the process. These are, I'm sorry, natural. You don't have to have raw. Let me, I'm thinking about extract, making extract. Um, whole natural almonds and they do have the skin on. This is not the biggest bag. I don't know why I didn't get the biggest bag this time, but I usually get the 32 ounce bag, which is $7. This one was like four bucks. So these are at Walmart. These are at Walmart. Think about how much you spend for a half a gallon of Silk Almond Breeze. Even Walmart's brand, I think that's about three bucks. Or Aldi's brand, that's about two and some change, almost three bucks. So this bag is going to make you, I've had this for a couple months now. So this bag is going to make you, it's 16 ounces in here. And I only put um, a half a cup of almonds in here and I let them soak for this size container. So this is a half a gallon, which is eight, excuse that commercial, but a half a gallon, which is eight cups. And you know, a full gallon is 16 cups. So this is what I'm using. It is a glass container. You wanna use as much stainless steel and glass as you can. Now, when I bought my blender slash emulsifier, it came with a plastic container. So I'm in search. I'm going to look on Amazon for one of these. And I know I can find one in metal. Because I get afraid that what if I chip and scratch. Because I have scratch it. I use it so much. Where are those particles going? So I definitely am going to be looking for a stainless steel one. Alright. So all I do is take these almonds here. And we're going to. Oh my lord. The calls. Everything is trying to stop this video. That means it's important. When something is being stopped or being shut up, that means that you need to pay attention to it because it is important. So these have been soaking. So what I do for the first batch, some people just take and then they just put them right in there. 
um, I pour this off and then I get some more water from my refrigerator which is purified and filtered all right cleaner water so what we're going to do is we're going to dump half of this inside here make sure your hands are clean I'm gonna do half and then we're gonna add some water to it all right we have the water at the max line you're gonna need a funnel and I have a nut bag is for straining nuts or when you're making milks that's what this is for and I have a wide mouth funnel that will go over this glass container when it's time to squeeze the milk into it so we're gonna set that stuff to the side for right now I have my homemade vanilla extract I have some almond extract from Aldi's and I have some salt as an actual preservative and it also gives the milk a certain type of taste so let's get into it this unit, if you're interested in it, is not sponsored, was purchased at Amazon with my money, and I love it. This is what I purchased when I knew I wanted to start making my own milk. I purchased it, and it came with other great stuff like a um, food processor and all that great stuff. So, yeah, this is an amazing tool, and it has the blending mechanism down here on this end. All right? Now, the things that are optional are the um, flavoring. Also, if I wanted to make a sweet milk, I would add honey. So if you want your milk a little sweeter and you want your uh, baby or children to drink it as if it was regular milk, you can add some honey. But I usually don't do that because I cook with it so much and I don't want to add sweet milk usually to things that I don't want sweetness in. So I just make it basic with a flavor of vanilla and a little tad bit of the almond extract. So those are optional. The salt, I would say, is not so optional depending on how fast you drink it. If you want this to last at least four to five days in the refrigerator, you want to make sure you add um, some salt. It can add up, it literally can last up a week. Why am I tongue tied? But we use it for smoothies, so that's why it goes so fast. My daughter makes smoothies almost every night, so that's why it goes so fast. So, yeah, let's get into it. And when she makes her pancakes um, and waffles, she likes to use the almond milk. So, I'll add the items after I start to blend. So, we're not going to bore you with the blending, but you can see it's already turning into a white consistency. I've made the mistake of lifting this up and everything, all these utensils and everything just got dirty. Keep it inside, cut it off before you lift it up and reposition it. The key is getting these ground up as small as you can get them. So as you know, I just stated to keep it inside there, right? But watch what happens. A whole disaster. Halfway through blending it, when it gets a milky consistency, is when you want to add your salt and just a pinch of salt. I don't measure, so just put a pinch. Look it. Look it, look it. I lifted it up. The phone rung and I stopped and then I... Just literally was off track. So I put a little bit of almond and I put a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Almond is also optional and the vanilla is optional. If you just want regular milk, just do a pinch of salt and that is it. The key is blending, blending, blending to get as many of those whole nuts small as you can. And this is why your hands need to be very clean because you are going to be straining with your hands. Um, and I know I do have my rings on and everything like that. I should take those off, but I do clean my hands and clean around my rings really well. So I'm just doing two batches and as I stated, this is eight cups in this half a gallon I'm putting the other half of the quarter teaspoon of vanilla in there, which is my homemade vanilla as well And I'm going to strain it So I'm technically making about six a little over six cups of milk because each of these containers Only max out at about three cups and that is all the almonds guys I had a half a cup of almonds, so you know that this milk is going to be giving you way more of the almonds than you get in the store. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. All I'm doing now is placing my new fresh milk inside the container. And guess what? Then it'll be time for us to now enjoy it. Done.